Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of The I Outer Worlds. Yes, we are supporting Phineas Wells. Have you got a problem with that? Welcome back, Captain. Welcome How back. Um. I have lots of minutes, many minutes, unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on a lost hope? Uh, I guess so. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Traveling the system with you, Captain. Nice. Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Uh, there have been other Did captains. Mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Oh. Uh, that's all for now, then. That's quite interesting. Um, we need to go to Byzantium Freight Port Landing Pad. We've got all these other planets, though. I will try to. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave Neoka for a bit and take Pavati. Or maybe swap them out, because we haven't seen the two of these. So we'll leave Felix, um, because we haven't seen Pavati and... Nyoka communicate yet. Oh, landed in Byzantium. Thirty gamer score points. Nice. I always forget to mute my computer. It's like I do all this effort to get rid of all the pop-up text and everything on my Xbox, and now I forget to do it on the laptop because now it all comes through on the laptop for some reason. Spacer's choice. <laughs> right, let's see what this is like. Oh. We've landed right in the port. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. I. Oh. Oh. You mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? Uh huh. Yeah, you're looking to make contact with Minister uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Um. I'm afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What were Quite a lot. Huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Uh, can you get me Whoa, into his I'm estate? I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Uh, okay, what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. House of inebriation? Count me the hell in! What the fuck is that? Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Uh, thanks just for the tip. Remember? You didn't hear it from me. I don't think we heard it from anyone. Uh, how exactly did you I've get involved been into fascinated this? By birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. All of them trying to eat you, I'd wager. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators.
When the birds start disappearing, you know something's a foul. No pun intended. So then what? I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. Like what? For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Mm, yeah. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Uh, seems pretty normal. Sure. That part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day, the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. If things are broken here, of all places, then I'm starting to think there ain't a hope left in this colony. Things have kept on running this long, right? Or so I used to think. The whole episode made me wonder. If they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Okay, looks like we gotta go. Uh, that took forever. This is interesting. Come on. I oh, can't this go any faster. Why can't something exciting happen? Advert drone. What's this got on it? Better than in nature, Auntie Cleo's. Wanna be famous? Wealthy citizen. Decadence ain't gonna save you when beasts chew through the Yeah, we definitely stand out. We are not wealthy citizens. What on earth is that thing? Hey, 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 stand back. You, I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard <laughs> right here. Talk the to others me. took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. Just like in his poster. Huh? Oh, you definitely recognize him if you saw him. He's very important. He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That we means kill him? I got a key to the minister.
sister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. That's right. It's not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all it's all very high level. Can we pickpocket in this game? That's a great idea out of a spectrum vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. <laughs> you, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Cheers to me. <laughs> Hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We need to be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? It's not every day you get your dream job, right? <laughs> Wow, you've got like this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? Like a mantisaur. Like a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, lost. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Only two? You've got a ways to go. Have you always been here? I didn't see you a minute ago. Stalking, and we're stalking. Oh, um, he's uh, everyone tells me he's. I need more spectrum vodka. Have you tried our new cocktail sponsored by Rizzo's? Then you'll want to speak. Quite so. Uh, robot somewhere. Please allow me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre approved banter. I'll have a drink. Um, Spectrum Vodka. I'll buy five because I don't know how much he could drink. Hey, buddy. Hey. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. No, I don't. Okay, <laughs> here goes. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple very crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to be sick. Did he die? He was just killed him. <laughs> we killed him. <laughs> oh, what a way to go, though. Pissed out of your mind. Um, it looks like we actually got ourselves a new assault rifle. So I want to...
swap these out and try the new assault rifle. Nice. That's actually pretty good. Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination... Is it me or could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Cannery and all. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors. And you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Um, okay, so we need to go get a minister's parcel. Authorised personnel only. Oh, we could go through there. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really? Halcyon Parcel Service. What's that? Rizzo Spectrum. Spectrum Vodka. A glass for every class. Violet Spectrum Vodka. Ooh, that doesn't look very tempting. Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. Actually, no. We're still waiting on our delivery of a new suggestion box. Oh dear. You do that? Wow. Hey, you know, a positive review from the minister would go a long way in my semi-monthly employment audit. Except for the Here's fact that it's not going to. Delivered to Mr. Clark, comma, minister. Lost fee. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. We literally just said, yo, we can do it for you. We'll give you the credit. And we got the job. Ugh. I need to do some more live streams. I've sort of slowed down on live streams lately. But I've been, like, grinding this game out. Next week is going to be no live streams at all. Because all I want to do is record Need for Speed Heat. Which is probably by the time this video comes out. It might be tomorrow. Or who knows. It might already be out by now. Um, Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. like in Edgewater. I hear you workers were on the clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. Yeah. My condolences. I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person, but... There's... Yeah? Let's see it. Huh. Looks like your papers are in order. Alright. Go on through. Well... Get wrecked. We're about to steal all your shit. I can't remember what we were supposed to steal. Some form of chemical. Um, apparently, I think.
Hang on. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! If this is about another aether wave cliff or radial spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. <laughs> Slowly and loudly, Aloysius, that's the only way these morons understand anything. I said, you may tell Charles to go fuck himself. Oh, terribly sorry. I thought you were part of Rockwell's PR team. But if you're not, that means you're a dissident? A real live dissident? But what are you doing here? And how did you get in? Drunk, of course. What else? Why did I get my hopes up? Back to idiot speak. I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Process of elimination. The only other person with access... Of course, of course. It's Rockwell again. Who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would... would you like me to make you tea? Please. This is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. After seeing this place, is it really a stretch? I've been confined to this house for years, and even I can tell you, things aren't right in Halcyon. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. Where are the HCC? This all feels off, Captain. Like, when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still? Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. This colony's problems have always seemed to trickle down from the top. If we're set on fixing Halcyon, that's as good a place as any to start. Exactly. And fix it, we must. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Halcyon Holdings Corporation, the collective of companies that run the colony together. Allegedly in partnership with the Earth Directorate and appointed Minister of Earth. How do I get to HCC the headquarters? That's where the most important corporate and government facilities are. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There's a heavily guarded checkpoint just down the street. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people avoid the area for obvious reasons. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the chairman's office and what used to be my office are. Oh, I haven't been allowed up there in years. I shudder to think what Rockwell's done with the place. A gilded minibar, perhaps? A personal theater? A man has too much money and too little sense. We need to find out what he's done with it. Uh, how did you manage to hang on to your access card? The board's cards? lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. Oh. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Wait, 
Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. This is our chance. Fleet, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Hmm. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more. All exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. But they wouldn't get here for... I don't even know. Shouldn't we do something our own selves? It's worth a try, but the Earth Directorate still needs that message. We must hope for their intervention. How long will that Depending take? on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. Perhaps there is hope after all. And now I entrust it to you. Good luck and trust no one in the Acropolis district. Trust no one. A UDL security attendant is always prepared. Haha. <laughs> uh, this way. Travel to Byzantium. Byzantium, Byzantium. Bluster dies with a whimper. Charge up weapons like the plasma rifle will con consume more ammo with a longer charge, but also inflict a lot more damage. Ooh. Chairman. The Acropolis district is off limits. Move along. What in the law's name are you on about? Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis district. Haha, <laughs> bribe. Transition to the HHC building. I have ever in my entire life felt more out of place than I do at this moment. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Can I shoot you? I don't like you. Um, we need to get. I have to go through three checkpoints just to take a bathroom break. Can't be too careful. Dissidents like Phineas Wells will stop at nothing to ruin this colony. State your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? You don't have to be sarcastic about it. <laughs> Look, you don't have time to wait on new forms. And I can't afford the citations for impeding HAC business. So I'm going to save us both some trouble and waive your forms. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, 
and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Well, it's great to tell me, especially if I was a legitimate official person. The walls would be painted with my guts right now. If I was a super superior person. I feel like shooting even more, like just shooting everyone. Just going pew 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 pew. Killing them all. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Sealed. Excuse me, just a moment. Like a raft among the rocks. Say he. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. I suppose that is admissible. Please try not to break anything. Close you out. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell. And I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! <laughs> While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis, so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. <laughs> <laughs> and someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Uh, return to root. Uh, learn the shocking truth about the colony. Ooh. Three and nine months for your message to complete transit. Alright, um... Yeah, I'm taking that. Let's go. Uh, what do we need to do now? Uh, dimethyl sulfoxide. Bye guys!
Hopefully I never see you again. The fact is, right, you think about all the amount of effort that they go to programming that building, making the building look how it does, right? They would probably spend about a day making all the design and everything for it, all the voice lines, everything in that room, right? And we've just gone through it in five minutes. And you think all that effort that they go in, they put so much detail in it. I mean, obviously, there are people who will read through completely. Um, I know I definitely probably will do another walkthrough of this at some point. Uh, but we need to get our soft fox side now. The Halcyon Observer. Volume 65, issue number 5. Cost 2 bits. That is it. 2 bits. Monarch Stellar Industries sink to a new low. While affected by stasis effect, you'll see an icon in the upper left of your HUD. You can read details about the effect on your character panel. Nice. Where the bloody hell am I supposed to be going? Downstairs. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Incoming! Oh! Well, it looks like we're shooting them. Can we do it without shooting them? Point. And you're still not cleared. Why am I not cleared? Don't let the guards hear you asking questions or peeking in the back. I don't want to go guns blazing. Can I speak with this guy? Let me speak with you. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Oh, I may have to shoot them up. Oh, I don't want to. That says restricted access. Oh, never mind. Ah. Oh, we're going to have to shoot him. Fuck yeah. Right, we shot him up. We done some shooting. Right, um... Got some nice stuff here.
Well, that's the most useless thing ever. If I... So the disguise doesn't work. Right, hopefully the lift comes up. Hopefully, it might work when we get down here. How do I redo it? Pausing. No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm going to need to see some identification. Sure. I've heard that one before. Shit. Oh, stop. Stop. I don't want to hear anymore. Just don't let me catch you again without your right knee, okay? Got it. Um... I need to work out how to... Right, so I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I shall see you on the next one. Goodbye. Oh, and if you do want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It'll mean the one for me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.